First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim, and you, Akwa, to believe in all sincerity. So you see here on your screen, GMS is number six on America's largest hate groups. I wonder who put this list together. Pastor Hart loaded this video. Um, I believe it was yesterday. And uh, he was watching um, a video from the IUIC in the classroom. As you see on the bottom, Doomsday, a year of deliverance. They actually posted this list, America's largest hate groups. In which Great Millstone is number six. And I actually found the article. All right, but I'm going to play some of this video. Okay, Lord willing, this will be edifying. If you want to check this uh, this video out, okay, it's um, on GMS Declaring the End, post to Horace page. Okay, and he was, as I mentioned, watching IUIC, but uh, I want to play this little part of the video. Lord willing, this will be edifying. <laughs> We ain't, all we all we did. I'm talking about Great Mill GMS. All we do is we go out on the highways and the byways, and we break down what the scriptures are saying. We're telling you what's going to happen. So we we're, we're a love group because we're we're giving you we're, we're letting you know what's going to happen to you. Isn't that something that somebody that shows love to tell you if it's going if it's going to rain, and the person doesn't have a, a raincoat, tell them to get a raincoat. That's love. So we're really a love group. So we're telling you that this place is going to be destroyed. And um, the kingdom is going to come. We're going to be on the top and you're going to be on the bottom. You got... Con, con. And, you know, that's that's of a truth. Okay, all we do is go out to the highways and the hedges. Okay, and tell Israel, okay, what's going to be them in the latter days. You see? And that is an act of love. Okay? We, um, you know, tell the other nations that uh, they're... You know, their reign is about ended, okay, and ours is about to begin, starting with the so-called white men. You know, they're all going into captivity, and America will be destroyed. And to some people, that is hate. But in reality, it, it, it's love. So, yeah, <laughs> GMS is a love group, all right? But I want to start here. Let's start here. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. You see, so <clears throat> we're commanded, okay, to cry aloud and spare not. You know, that's why we're out there on the highways and hedges, okay? You know, bidding the house of Israel, you know, to be filled. Okay, and we're showing... You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, your transgression, your sins. You know, you you are, you know, you are Jacob, okay? Jacob's name turned to Israel. You're the Israelites, you know, and we don't, we don't spare, you know, any feelings. You know, we, we, we tell the truth, you know, whether they hear or whether they will forbear. You know, we're commanded to do that. Okay, this is Jeremiah 5 and 14, wherefore thus saith Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them, okay, because we speak the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, the words, okay, it's, 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 it's like fire, Okay, and the people are like wood, and it shall devour them, and that's that's what happens. You know, when Israel hears the word, they they get devoured, they get burnt up. You know, figuratively speaking, because you know this word is is powerful. This is Hebrews chapter four, 
and 12 for the word of the most high is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart and we speak the word okay and, and, and it, it cuts you know as it says here it's quick it's powerful it's sharper than any two-edged sword and and, and it can uh you know it can pierce you know any individual you know to the core strong's g 3311 meris mas meris mas this is so as far to cleave asunder or separate. Yeah, it penetrates to the to to the deep, deepest parts of your soul and spirit. Okay, and it discerns the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see, the word is able to, um, you know, bring out your sins to 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 light. Okay, it it it, it discerns. You know what you're about okay what your intention is okay whether for the good or whether for you know for the bad okay you know this is a Matter of fact, let's let's get this in the uh, NLT for the word of the Most High is alive and powerful, the sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joy and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Yeah, and it it, it sheds light to 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 uh, things that are in dark. Okay, and, and it manifests. Okay, the intents of of men, you know. It, it basically it's like a light it, it it will expose you you know and and you know truth be told you know uh as the scriptures say no man come into the light lest his deeds be be exposed and many people don't want to come to the light but see you know you have to come to the light okay that's the only way you're able to see okay where you're going right uh, you know, but but what does the scripture say? But but our people love darkness. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I think it's in John two. We'll just get it because I um. Quoted it. Let's see. <sighs> Cometh to the light. Mm. Right. No, it's the third chapter, Salakia. We'll start here, John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So th this is the condemnation, okay? Uh, some hear the word and, and, and they get condemned. Some hear the word and, and it's able to purify them. It's able to to make them, you know, uh, righteous and holy, you see? But men... As it says here, love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So some rather stay in the in the dark. They rather not hear it. All right. It says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, and neither come into the light lest his deeds should be reproved. You see? But he that doeth truth come into the light that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in the most high. So those who are in the truth, they come to the light, okay? That it may be made manifest that the things that they're doing is, is because Yahweh Bashim El Shai is, 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 you know, has put the spirit upon them to do so, okay? There's a fervency, that, you know.
This is the word light. Strong's G, 5457. Fos. Fos. Right here it says, of truth and its knowledge together with spiritual purity associated with it. You see? That's beautiful. Of truth and its knowledge together with its spirit, it, with the spiritual purity associated with it. It says, that which is exposed to the view of all openly, publicly. Right? Right? This is a... Yeah, brothers have always said, you know, being in the truth is, 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 is you know, this is the light. It, it'll be exposed. And that's of a truth, you know. So we have to stay in the light, you know, so the Heavenly Father can, you know, can sup with us, you know, by giving us this truth and this knowledge, uh, you know, along with that spiritual purity associated with it, you know. Because, you know, ultimately, you know, this truth is a, is a, is a work and labor of love. You know, some hear the, the word and, and they see, you know, some see the camps, you know, of Great Millstone and think it's just a hate group. You know, but it's not. And a matter of fact, um, I found that article, America's Largest Hate Groups by Angelo Young. Okay, this is the article that Apostle Har was looking at, I believe. Um, they made a list, IUIC, but on this article, if you scroll all the way down, right? Look, starting at number 27, I guess. But when you scroll all the way down, I'm not going to read the article. You know, because we're, we're not a hate group. When you get to number six, what do you see? Great millstone. <laughs> I thought that was funny, but I looked up the article and I found it. And if you want to check it out, this is the name of it. Mm, excuse me, scrolling all fast. This is the name of it. It's by America's Largest Hate Groups, and it's by Angelo Young, published December 15, 2022. And I don't know if we've went up or went down a notch, but... um. This is not a, a hate group. It's it's just that, you know, our people hate to be uh, told about themselves, you know. And, you know, remember the, uh, I believe it was the Apostle Gabar he had said one time, he said, uh, you know, the best medicine, you know, is, is the medicine that uh, tastes the worst, you know. And, and and truth be told, you know, the, the best things you can hear are the things that are, you know, not so pleasant, you know, especially when they're about you. OK, because that's that's what causes, you know, one to change. That's what causes one to to be made right. OK, is when he's reproved, when, when he's told about himself. You see, a lot of our people, they, they despise it. This is Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised that they and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahweh is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. You see, the word unto, you know, our people is a reproach. Strong's H2781. Herpa, herpa. Right. What does it say here? Resting upon reproach, resting upon con condition of shame and disgrace. Right. All that all people get, um, they can't get past is the the shame or the disgrace that they feel. All right. But they scorn out the word. They have no delight in it. Okay. But you have to delight in the word. Okay, we have a You know. Let's get a couple more. This is Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. You see, who's... He, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, 
But he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded, right? You despise the word, you're going to be destroyed. But he that feared commandment shall be rewarded. But if you hear uh, Salaki, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, right? You have to fear Yahweh Bashim Shai and keep his commandments. Therefore, you, you will be rewarded. Okay, it says the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Okay, because this, this word keeps you in the way. You know, it keeps you from perishing. Okay. Let's continue. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Oh, let's get this in the NLT. A person with good senses respected, a treacherous person is headed for destruction. Hmm. That's the truth. All right. So, point is, you know, the word, you know, if you despise it, you're going to be destroyed. But if you fear the commandment, you, 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 you know, you, you get rewarded. This is uh, John seventeen. And 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Okay? Yeah, the word is able to make you holy. Strong's G37, Hagiazo. Hagiazo. Mm -hmm. Hagiazo. That's yeah, that sanctify in John 17, 17. Yeah, John seventeen seventeen. That's what you want. You want the word to, okay, to dedicate you, you know, to the Most High. To separate you from profane things and dedicate to the Most High. You know, to purify you, to cleanse you externally, to purify be by expiation, free from the guilt of sin. What does it say here? To purify internally by renewing of the soul. You see, that's what this word does. It renews your soul. It changes your mind. It changes the way you live. You know, the way you think about situations. You know, everything. And that's what you want. You want to be sanctified by the word. The truth The truth is, is you know, is this word. Okay. Why do they call us a hate group when we speak about the um, the prophecies? Who knows? You know that that you know hearing that the world's going to be destroyed can either do one or two things. You know it can harden you or it can make you change. That's what the scriptures say. Seeing all these things, uh, seeing you know that the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. What manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, but. And our people despise wisdom. All right. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 16. To the one we are the savor of death unto death. And to the other the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? You know, to, uh, on one hand, some, you know, they hear the word. They hear us preaching out there, uh, you know. Telling Esau that he's about to uh, go into captivity. America is going to be destroyed, and 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 true. And look at what's going on. You know, you, you got, you know, Iran and Israel going at it. You know, pursuing to the prophecy in Ezekiel. Okay. You know, it, it's, it's it's just truth. Okay, but to the one we are, we are the savior of death unto death, and to the other the savior of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? Right? Who is adequate? Okay, who is worthy to teach such things, man? That's why we have to dwell in the Word, you know, so we can be, you know, dedicated to the Most High, consecrated, sanctified, and be made worthy. Okay, in that day, to receive clemency. You know, a lot of people dismiss this this word. For hate, 
when it's really, it, it's just because it's in its purest form. Let's get this. <clears throat> this is Ephesians 5 and 26, that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, you see? It's this water washes you. Slakia, this word washes you, I should say. You know, the word washes you, man. It cleanses you. Sanctifies you. This is First Timothy 4 and 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay, this word has the ability to save you and those that you teach it to. Okay, this this doctrine, the 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 the, the gospel in its entirety. Okay. But some look at it as 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 the occult, a hate group, you know, just a bunch of disgruntled minorities, right? Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 165. It says, Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Okay. Great peace. Have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. Nothing's going to move those who are destined to to come into the truth, hear the word, and, and be saved. Okay? Be cleansed. Be sanctified. You know, it's not going to be like something that is unto death. No, it's this is for salvation. Okay? To the hopeful elect who's made, who's being made, uh, you know, ready. Who's being purged in these latter days. Who's, who's you know. Being reminded of, 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 of you know, the, the, the splendor and the glory and the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay. This is the word law. Strong's H, 8451. Torah. Wow. Torah. Yeah. Tawara, the Torah. Does it say here law, direction, instruction? What does it say? Instruction, direction, human or divine? You see? Divine instruction, divine direction. Okay. Body of legal directives. Right? This book is, is the law of the most high. And those that love it shall not be offended. They're not going to be moved. Okay. And, you know, this this is a work and labor of love, you know. This is nothing what people um, mistake it for, okay. Now, these guys are hate, okay. These guys in these hooded bed sheets, you know. They eat a mite. But, again, people, you know, they... they Caught up in this this Western mind frame, okay? This Christianity, this watered down truth, okay? You know, but those that that, that love Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, you know, they're, they're ultimately going to be prepared for His coming, and we're in that time, okay? <clears throat> so. Just wanted to bring this out, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rokakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwa that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.